Zola Kamar, the acting president of the Sierra Leone Football Association. Well, so we talk about the resumption of the Sierra Leone Premier League. The momentum is a very unique one. What do you have to say about this? It's amazing. It's amazing what um, we are seeing um, because um, the boys, the Premier League boys. Now, in fact, let me just um, go back and uh, say big thanks to what, um, the president, Ichi, the president and his crews um, for what they have done to revive football. And in fact, we all know that football is about money. If there is money, then you will see, you know, the what we are seeing right now. And, and I appreciate the government for that. And um, also, we our selection is paying a lot of dividends. We decided to get the Premier, Premier League board chairman that is um, capable. And this guy, is, he has been with um, Edwards for so many years. He understand what it takes to do, to organize um, football. So one will say, what are the mechanisms, apart from what you've highlighted that we have put in place, to have this amazing moment, as you described the Sierra Premier League to be? Well, it's, um, the Premier League board is about selections. We, what we do, it, what we normally do as an FA, we delegate um, responsibility to the Premier League board. What the Premier, Premier League board will do is, they will come up with um, three members and um, the FA will submit three members. Uh, within the, prim, um, the three members for the Premier League board, they will get the clubs, uh, members from the, um, the clubs, and also, we also are um, looking to people that have experience, have knowledge about um, football. For example, the COPFA chairman, um, Sama, and um, we have um, also JJ, who is um, been in football for 40 years. So it's a lot of experienced people and knowledgeable people in the game of football to um, see this kind of success that we are having. So the current state of football, especially when it comes to the international body, as I said, is under suspension as of now. What latest the people of uh, Sierra Leone and the rest of the world should get from that particular side? You being the president of the Sierra Leone Football Association acting. Um, the, 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 what, what, um, the public, the public world and FIFA will see is that football, football, because their, mm, their uh, method is regardless of the impasse that is going on football must play this is what we are doing we know we have problem with fifa under this suspension but at the same time we have to organize football so we can give the youth of this country opportunity um, say for instance the day that fifa will say okay the, uh, we are going to lift the suspension we'll get our boys ready by this um, competition that is going on so we are prepared we are proactive so um this is what we are going to continue to do. In fact, we are looking at the FA Cup that we involve 200 or more teams, the chiefdom, the district, and the regional district to come and um, start the FA Cup. So um, we'll get our boys busy so they will stay out of mischief. So when are we expecting the FA Cup? Um, we are looking at probably second to third week in March. To start the World Cup because we want everything to go on simultaneously and also we are looking at um, WAFA is also looking at the Division 1 and Division 2 league to start and uh, these are, are things that we are ready to do to make sure that we get everybody on board get the, um, the boys engaged in football so uh, like I said they will stay out of mischief and also some of these boys are taking football as their career so we want to continue to give them that opportunity. We hope FIFA will look into all of this and said yes, Sierra Leone is ready for football. It's not one individual that is one football. It's a quality, collective effort and we are ready to play football. So what's in store for female football? You spoke well about male football. Of course, female football is in our agenda. In fact, we um, already um, delegate um, a group that is trying to organize female football. They have gone so far. Right now, they are looking at a sponsorship. As soon as they get the sponsorship, probably by March, the female football will kick off. So the rest of those viewing you and listening to this interview, what should be the final message for them? 
final message is football is back and um, we are going to work collectively forget about all this impasse and all this calamity that was going on but now we have a um, bygone, big bygone, and we have a clean slate that everybody's on board, everybody's excited, everybody's ready to push football in Sierra Leone. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.